Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 198. Immunoglobulin isotypes. What immunoglobulin isotypes are expressed on the mature B lymphocytes? Mature B lymphocytes expresses IgM and IgD on their surface. Describe how the other immunoglobulin isotypes are formed. We already know from previous discussions that B lymphocytes will differentiate into plasma cells and this happens due to gene rearrangement and it's also mediated by cytokines and CD40 ligand. So when plasma cells is formed from B lymphocyte, this plasma cell will now be able to secrete IgA, IgE and IgG. Name all the immunoglobulin isotypes. The immunoglobulin isotypes includes IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD, and IgE. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all these immunoglobulin isotypes? Just remember game D. So that's G, A, M, E, and D. So game D. What is the main antibody of the secondary or delayed response to an antigen? The main antibody for the delayed response to an antigen is immunoglobulin G. What is the main antibody for the primary immediate response to an antigen? The main antibody that produces the primary immediate response to an antigen is immunoglobulin M. Which is the most abundant immunoglobulin isotype? The most abundant immunoglobulin isotype is immunoglobulin G. What are all the functions of immunoglobulin G? The functions of immunoglobulin G is to fix complement. They can also cross the placenta, therefore providing infants with passive immunity. And their function also includes opsonizing bacteria and to neutralize bacterial toxins and viruses. Does immunoglobulin A fix complements? No, immunoglobulin A does not fix complement because as we mentioned earlier that only immunoglobulin G and immunoglobulin M are the only two antibodies that fixes complements. What are all the functions of immunoglobulin A? The functions of immunoglobulin A is to prevent attachment of bacteria and viruses to the mucous membrane. Immunoglobulin A can also cross the epithelium by transcytosis. This is also found in secretions such as in the tear, saliva, and mucus, and they are also in the early breast milk known as colostrum. A couple of additional notes about IgA is that it's a monomer in the circulation and a dimer when secreted. And secondly, it can also pick up secretory components from epithelial cells before secretion. What are all the functions of IgM? As we already mentioned earlier that the function of IgM is to produce primary immediate response to antigen. It also has the ability to fix complements, but it does not cross the placenta. We also said that IgM and IgD are the two immunoglobulins that are expressed on the mature B lymphocyte cell surface. A few additional notes about IgM is that it's a monomer on B cell or a pentamer. The shapes of the pentamers are also important because the shape of the pentamer is what allows the efficient trapping of free antigens out of the tissue while humoral response evolves. What is the function of immunoglobulin D? The function of immunoglobulin D is still unclear, but it's found on the cell surface as we have already mentioned along with IgM. So basically IgD and IgM are the two immunoglobulins that are found on the cell surface of many B cells and in the serum. What is the function of immunoglobulin D? As we talked about in a different section, that immunoglobulin D is what mediates allergic reaction. So it makes sense that immunoglobulin D will bind mast cells and basophils. They also cross-link when exposed to allergens and it mediates immediate type 1 hypersensitivity through release of inflammatory modulators such as histamine. So if you recall that any allergic reaction will have an increased release of histamine and that is typically what leads to signs of allergies such as red nose and flushing. So again, with the activation of IgE, this will lead to a hypersensitivity reaction that will cause the release of inflammatory mediators such as histamine. A few additional notes to mention about immunoglobulin E is that it mediates immunity to worms by activating eosinophils and it has the lowest concentration in the serum. 
For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.